Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International with me, Keith Johnston. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a letter of condolences from the Moroccan King, His Majesty Mohammed VI, on the demise of Her Highness Sheikh Nur bin Isa bin Salman Al Khalifa. The Moroccan monarch prayed to Allah the Almighty to rest her soul in eternal peace. In response, His Majesty the King sent a letter to the Moroccan monarch where he expressed thanks and appreciation for the condolences and kind sentiments, which reflect the brotherly relations between the two royal families. His Majesty wished King Mohammed VI abundant health and happiness. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa today patronised a ceremony marking the Commemoration Day, which took place at Sakir Palace in the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. Upon his arrival, His Majesty was welcomed by the Bahrain Defence Force Commander-in-Chief, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, the Commander of the National Guard, Lieutenant General Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, and the Minister of the Interior, Lieutenant General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa. والآن يصل الموكب السامي لحضرة صاحب الجلالة الملك المفدى حفظه الله ورعاه The national anthem was played. Following the recitation of verses from the Holy Quran, a shot was fired, marking a minute of silence. يقاتلون في سبيل الله فيقتلون ويقتلون 
وعدا عليه حقا في التوراة والإنجيل والقرآن ومن أوفى بعهده من الله فاستبشروا ببيعكم الذي بايعتم به فاستبشروا ببيعكم الذي بايعتم به وذلك هو الفوز العظيم التائبون العابدون الحامدون السائحون الراكعون الساجدون الآمرون بالمعروف الآمرون بالمعروف والناهون عن المنكر والحافظون لحدود الله وبشر المؤمنين صدق الله العظيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم حضرة صاحب then, الجلالة the head of Sharia at the Court of Cassation Sheikh Adnan al Ghatan delivered a speech and a prayer for the martyrs Sheikh Adnan then recited verses from the Quran الأمير سلمان بن حمد آل خليفة ولي العهد نائب القائد الأعلى والنائب الأول لرئيس مجلس الوزراء حفظكم الله ورعاكم أصحاب السمو والمعالي والسعادة جنود الوطن البواسي الأبطال أسر الشهداء الإخوة والأخوات الكرام السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته وبعد يقول رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم في بيان فضل الشهادة والشهيد يؤتى بالرجل من أهل الجنة فيقول الله له يا ابن آدم كيف وجدت منزلك فيقول أي ربي خير منزل فيقول الله له سل وتمنه فيقول الشهيد 
ما أسأل وأتمنى إلا أن تردني إلى الدنيا فأقتل في سبيلك عشر مرات لما رأى من فضل الشهادة بعد شكر الله تعالى نتقدم بالشكر والتقدير والامتنان لصاحب الجلالة الملك حمد بن عيسى الخليفة ملك البلاد المفدى حفظه الله ورعاه الذي خصص هذا اليوم السابع عشر من شهر ديسمبر من كل عام يوما للشهيد تخليدا ووفاء وعرفانا بتضحيات وعطاء وبذل شهداء الوطن فتحية إجلال وإكرام ملؤها المحبة والافتخار والكرامة والاعتزاز لكل شهدائنا الأبطال عبر تاريخ وطننا الغالي الحافل بالتضحيات قديما وحديثا منذ قيام الدولة في عهد المؤسس الأول أحمد الفاتح رحمه الله إلى يومنا هذا الذين قدموا أرواحهم دفاعا عن دينهم ووطنهم وذودا عن شرفهم وحقوقهم وشرعيتهم وفي هذه المناسبة الجليلة نرفع أكف الضراعة إلى المولى العلي القدير داعين لشهدائنا الأبرار ماضيا وحاضرا في مملكتنا الغالية البحرين وفي دول مجلس التعاون الخليجي وفي التحالف العربي ولكل شهيد بالرحمة والمغفرة ودخول الجنان ونقول اللهم عز جارك وجل ثناؤك وتقدست أسماؤك اللهم تقبل شهداءنا الأبرار واجعلهم في أعالي الجنان اللهم نور مراقدهم وطيب مضاجعهم اللهم آنس وحشتهم وارحم غربتهم اللهم نقهم من خطاياهم كما ينقى الثوب الأبيض من الدنس اللهم افسح لهم في قبورهم واجعلها رياضا من رياض الجنة اللهم واجمع بينهم وبين آبائهم وأمهاتهم وأهلهم وأولادهم في جنات النعيم اللهم آمنا في وطننا اللهم آمنا في وطننا واجعل هذا البلد آمنا مطمئنا سخاء رخاء وسائر بلاد المسلمين اللهم وفق ولي أمرنا ملكنا حمد بن عيسى لما تحب وترضى اللهم احفظه وأدم عليه موفور الصحة والعافية والسعادة وأطل في عمره اللهم توله بعنايتك ورعايتك وأصلح أولاده وذريته يا سميع الدعاء اللهم وفقه لهداك واجعل أعماله الصالحة في رضاك اللهم واجمع به الشمل ووحد به الصف واجعله مباركا أينما كان اللهم أقر عينه بتآلف قلوبنا واجعلنا له جنودا في الحق وعونا للخير يا ذا الجلال والإكرام اللهم احفظه من شر الأشرار وكيد الفجار يا رب العالمين اللهم من أرادنا وبلادنا البحرين وبلاد الحرمين الشريفين وخليجنا وجيشنا ورجال أمننا وأمتنا بشر وسوء وفتنة فأشغله بنفسه اللهم واجعل كيده في نحره وأدر دائرة السوء عليه وأرنا فيه عجائب قدرتك اللهم انصرنا على من عادانا وبغى علينا يا سميع الدعاء اللهم إنا نستودعك وطننا وخليجنا وجنودنا البواسل المرابطين الذين يحاربون الآن عدوك وعدوهم اللهم احفظهم برا وبحرا وجوا وانصرهم على الطاغين الباغين المعتدين اللهم سدد رميهم وثبت أقدامهم وأنزل سكينتك عليهم وأعدهم إلى وطنهم وأهليهم سالمين غانمين ربنا تقبل منا إنك أنت السميع العليم وتب علينا إنك أنت التواب الرحيم سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على سيدنا ونبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين نقرأ الآن سورة الفاتحة على أرواح شهدائنا الأبرار ونسأل الله تعالى أن يجعل هذه الساعة ساعة إجابة وقبول بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته
شاهدين جلالتكم وتفقد حرس شرف سيد A number of fighter jets belonging to the Royal Bahraini Air Force performed a flyby as a tribute to the martyrs. Then His Majesty the King irrigated the palm tree that represents a symbol of life. Marking the occasion, His Majesty the King gave a statement in which he expressed pleasure in celebrating the fourth anniversary of Commemoration Day, which is a national occasion that honours the Kingdom's martyrs, those faithful and courageous men of Bahrain who sacrificed their lives for the country and the nation. His Majesty added that the 17th of December every year is an occasion that will always be remembered in Bahrain's national march, and it represents a source of pride for the people of Bahrain, who sacrificed their lives defending righteousness and security and sovereignty of the country. His Majesty expressed the Kingdom's pride in all martyrs and their families for the sacrifices in order for Bahrain's flag to remain high among the countries of the world. His Majesty also expressed thanks and appreciation for the national stances which citizens have demonstrated in recognition of the martyrs, which reflects the unity and determination to respond to the call of duty to defend the country without hesitation. His Majesty prayed to Allah the Almighty to rest the souls of the martyrs in eternal peace. حفظه الله ورعاه بسقي فسيلة النخلة Then His Majesty the King, accompanied by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, headed to the National Charter Monument, where His Royal Highness welcomed senior officers on the occasion of Commemoration Day. During the meeting, His Majesty the King affirmed the importance of the Commemoration Day anniversary, which coincides with National Day and remains a reminder of the sincere patriotism and the sacrificing of their lives for their duty. His Majesty prayed to Allah the Almighty to rest the souls of the martyrs in eternal peace. For their part, the senior officials congratulated His Majesty the King on the occasion of the National Day, healing the generous gesture of His Majesty the King to mark Commemoration Day, praying to Allah Almighty to maintain Bahrain's stability and security. His Majesty the King's representative for charity work and youth affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, has asserted that the Commemoration Day launched by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa is an auspicious national occasion on which the nation pays tribute to those who have lost their lives while defending the homeland. His Highness Sheikh Nasser pointed out that the Commemoration Day is a token of loyalty and gratitude to the fallen servicemen and recognition of the sacrifices they made while carrying out the Patrick duties so that Bahrain's banners remain high. He affirmed that the Commemoration Day, which is observed on December the 17th every year, remains the highest levels of loyalty to the late servicemen who sacrificed their lives in order to ensure that the Kingdom remains an oasis of security and stability noting that His Majesty the King decided to hold the event a day after their session day in order to be an opportunity to pay tribute to the citizens who lost their lives for the sake of Bahrain. His Highness Sheikh Nasser affirmed that the fallen servicemen set themselves as role models for defending Bahrain's capabilities, hard-won achievements and security, as well as protecting their homeland and the territories of the brotherly GCC countries from terrorists and enemies. Today, the nation pays homage to those who have made huge sacrifices for the sake of preserving Bahrain's glory, sovereignty and Arab identity. They said, noting that the honouring will inspire the successive generations to defend the nation against enemies, 
make all sacrifices to preserve the kingdom's glory and ensure safety and security for the citizens in the present and the future. He said that the Bahraini society has set the best examples in solidarity, cohesion and compassion, which is reflected in the appreciation of the late servicemen, as well as in supporting the relatives in recognition of the sacrifices made by them to ensure that Bahrain remains secure, stable and prosperous. First Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of the Bahrain Athletics Federation, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, said at the Commemoration Day, which falls on December the 17th annually and coincides with Bahrain's National Day celebrations and His Majesty the King's accession to the throne, is a great memory for everyone, during which Bahrainis recall the sacrifices and heroics made by Bahrain's martyrs while defending the home soil and the neighbouring nations. His Highness Sheikh Khalid said in a statement on this occasion, that from this day we draw lessons, but words alone can't describe our feelings towards our martyrs. They forged a great narrative by their pure blood. He went on to say that Bahrain will never forget our martyrs and that they will remain alive inside our hearts, adding that in this day we reciprocate their sacrifices. The immortal battles fought by the Kingdom of Bahrain to defend its Arabism and sovereignty are witnesses to these sacrifices. It was the Battle of Sabara which the martyrs sacrificed their noble lives it was an epic that was written by the history and engraved in the blood of the martyrs to write a new title called Modern Bahrain in 1197 Hijri and 1783 AD. The Speaker of the Representatives Council, Fazia bint Abdullah Zainal, affirmed the anniversary of Commemoration Day as an important national occasion and an opportunity to renew the Kingdom's pride in the sacrifices of the martyrs. Sinal here the Bahraini people's stances and the appreciation of the martyrs of the country in security and military forces, in recognition of the sacrifices and contribution to maintaining security and stability and protecting lives and property. Sinal affirmed that the Council will continue to be a strong supporter of military and security institutions, commending the continuous development of these institutions in terms of readiness, combat efficiency and human resources, with the highest levels of training and competence. She expressed thanks and appreciation to the families of the martyrs for their steadfastness and patience, asserting the Kingdom's support to them and praying to Allah the Almighty to rest their souls in eternal peace. Shura Council Chairman Ali bin Saleh Asali affirmed that the commemoration day launched by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa is a great occasion to coincide with the celebration of Bahrain's National Day and His Majesty the King's accession to the throne. He expressed his pride in the sacrifices of the martyrs of the national duty who have registered their noble names and blood in the Book of Honour and Sincerity, noting that the Kingdom of Bahrain will not forget the families and relatives of the martyrs. He continued to say that the leadership and the people of the Kingdom of Bahrain will not forget the sacrifices of its courageous men who are making sincere national efforts for the sake of the country, defending the security and stability of the Gulf Cooperation Council states and protecting the dignity and right of the Arab nation. The Shura Council Chairman expressed gratitude to His Majesty the King for dedicating a national day to the martyr, noting the Shura Council support to the De Bahrain Defence Force the Ministry of Interior and all members of the military and security establishments in the Kingdom of Bahrain. He asked Al the Almighty to rest the martyrs in eternal peace. The Ministry of Education held a celebration at its hall in Issa Town, marking the Commemoration Day. Education Minister Majid bin Ali al Noemi patronised the event, held under the theme Our Martyrs in the Eyes of Our Children with the participation of 220 primary school students and students with special needs from 57 schools. The Minister was informed about the artistic expo held by the students, including paintings marking the commemoration day. The event also featured a national song by Al Jabiria Technical Boys School students and a poem by Al Hid Secondary Girls School students. Raza Mahmoud. The Minister lauded the patriotic values expressed by the students in their artistic works stressing the Education Ministry's great interest in students' extracurricular activities. Dr. Anne Wemi then honoured the jury of the event's competition and the winners. The Education Ministry has organised the event marking the Commemoration Day for the third year in a row to commemorate the sacrifices of the late servicemen and to provide an opportunity for students to use their talent and creativity to express their love and appreciation and gratitude to the fallen servicemen. Ministry of Education marks Commemoration Day with Artistic Expo.
During the Martyrs' Day ceremony, scores of officers and families of martyrs united in paying their respects to the fallen brothers and family members. The solemn words were powerful and proud. I always teach my kids uh, patriotic, country come first. So when he joined the military, it, it was his own uh, will. So at the end when he left his last, uh, his last uh, journey that he didn't come back, we had a talk when I told him, why would you, would you like to stay home and we're going to business? He says, no, my country come first. And that makes me very proud of him because uh, he died eight days later. We are very grateful to our king for making this day a beautiful day for all of those who have given their lives to their country. I have so much respect for the men and women in uniform because I, as a mother, I know what it's like. So I'm, I'm very proud of my country. I am a, a sister of uh, uh, Mohammed Nabil who sacrificed himself for this country, this great country. Uh, and uh, I would like to thank our King uh, Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa for his uh, support to our family and all uh, the families of uh, military people. Uh, today, um, every day actually, uh, his soul, his, his, uh, his role that he participate in uh, supporting the fa the country and the other countries around our around our Gulf, Sisi, uh, it's uh, it's mean a lot to us. We this day is important for us because we remember the heroes that sacrificed their lives for the kingdom of Bahrain and for us. And uh, these people that sacrificed their lives are heroes and the support of King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa of this day. Under the patronage of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and in the presence of the Minister of Labour and Social Development Jamil bin Mohammed Hamidan, this is Bahrain held its annual festival on the occasion of the Kingdom's National Days with the participation of a number of embassies, representatives of foreign communities, clubs, schools and civil society organisations. The festival included traditional Bahraini products made by productive families as well as the exhibition of old and classic cars selected from Bahrain and from Gulf countries. The people of Bahrain celebrated the glorious national holidays with pride, recalling the march of a civilised nation with a long history, a prosperous present and a bright future under the leadership of His Majesty the King. This occasion to all Bahrainis is a dear celebration of their achieved progress and prosperity. Bahrainis also celebrate this glorious day to honour the nation. It is also a national occasion to renew the Pledge of Allegiance and loyalty to His Majesty the King. The Kingdom of Bahrain is a cradle of religions and a melting pot of different cultures and people of all communities come together to celebrate the National Day and the humble Bahraini way of life where everybody lives together in peaceful coexistence. The relationship between Indonesia and Bahrain is very close. We, uh, we opened our uh, embassy here in 2010, even we established the diplomatic relations since 1976. I think it was too late for us and we are very happy to open our embassy here in 2010. And Bahrain also opened your embassy in my country last year, I think. And since we have a big population here, around 11, thousand Indonesian living in Bahrain, they are very happy. And for this, I should extend our sincere gratitude and thanks to His Majesty King Hamad, the Crown Prince and also His Highness the Prime Minister. We are very happy. Bahrain is our second home. This day, you can see the people came with, with enjoy, happy. They came, nobody pushed them to come. And this is very, very good because they came from their heart. They want to put uh, 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 their heart, their wishes, their hope to Bahrain. And we always pray for uh, Bahrain. We pray for uh, our majesty, King Hamad. God will give him the wisdom. God will give him to keep all the Bahrain uh, in one body. Pakistan and Bahrain is the one heart and Pakistan and Bahrain is one place and Pakistani love Bahrain and they show his 
prayer, they show his blood, everything is with Bahrain. Bahrain, love Bahrain. The king is live long, long live. King is our heart. And I'm also the part of Pakistani community. Pakistani community is serving everything with the Bahrain. Our new prime minister, our new king, they present everything for Bahrain. My dad moved over here from 10 years ago, but the Punjabis, if you see, like from how long we are over here, as my uncle, he's over here from 40 years, okay? So from 40 years, he's over here, and he's doing his business, which is amazing in Bahrain, thanks to the king and the government over here, which is really supportive. Every community, every religion have their own freedom to worship as they want to, which I love about Bahrain. For last 80 years, our family is there in the Bahrain for eight decades, and now, for uh, 20 years, we are continuously uh, with the Sikh community, with the Gurdwara, and uh, we wish His Majesty a long life. We have a religious freedom completely in Bahrain, and we are practicing for last uh, 80, uh, from 1958, we have the Gurdwara in Bahrain, and it was a complete freedom for us for practicing any time wherever we were there. The Gurdwaras are right now also, we have five Gurdwaras in Bahrain, uh, and uh, due to the His Majesty. We are here since 1962 as a community. Ever since we are here, we are enjoying the blessings of His Majesty the King. Particularly, we are very happy that when we came, when I came to Bahrain in the year 2016, for me, Bahrain was my second homeland. But after enjoying the freedom, security and all that, for me, Bahrain is nothing but extension of Kerala. For me, Bahrain is my homeland. It is not my second homeland. We, myself and my family are very much blessed, are very happy to be here. Not only that, even our community, our Marthoma Parish is very much happy for the freedom we are enjoying, particularly the freedom of worship. We always uh, pray for His Majesty the King, the Prime Minister and also the Crown Prince on this National Day. I am very happy and extends my hearty wishes to King His Majesty 